Okay, folks, we're off to Neverland now. <laughs> Last main world of the game, and boy howdy, I can't wait, because we get a bunch of great stuff in this world. Not to mention get access to easy command leveling. Do 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 do. Over there. I'm going to be the leader. Oh. We're so close. Too bad, man. Tough break. But in. No buts. You know the rules. The first one to find and claim the treasure map gets to be the leader. And that's you. Whoops. Leader I wasn't playing. Of the expedition. Uh, we're going on a treasure hunt. And that's our map you got. What do you mean? I never said girls can't be part of the gang. <laughs> Come on, Tink. The more the merrier. Tinkerbell be jealous. I'm sorry, but I have something else I need to take care of. Here, you keep it. Too bad, but rules are rules. I guess we'll just have to call off the treasure hunt. No! All right, you win. I'll join you for one expedition. <laughs> can't even say the word right. Tinkerbell is not happy that there's a girl here. Tell, we're here. And this mark here is where we'll find the treasure. No point in. Come on, let's go! Wait a second. We still don't even know our leader's name. I'm Peter Pan. The jealous one over here is Tinkerbell. And you are... Aqua. So you're Aqua. Huh? Now, first stop, Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Show off. What? I have the glide ability. Of course I'm going to use it everywhere. It's faster. <laughs> Ventus did it too. Welcome to Neverland for the third time. And Aqua goes here after Terra and Ventus, chronologically speaking. Alright, well, guess that's that. Oh wait, I still have my ice cream ingredient deck equipped. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's a good deck, but we really should equip our old one. Oh, and we got our sweet new hyperdrive keyblade. And the map of the area. Don't we start with the map since we got the treasure map? I'm confused. This isn't the way to the spot on the map, but it actually is. <sighs> Nobody's been able to go that way yet. <laughs> oh well. A mega potion. Hooray! Oh, I can't wait to not use that. Alright, monkey boys. Fire. Boom! Get out of here. Let's open up the chest. Oh, yay, a high potion. And look at how high up that puzzle piece is. We can't even reach it with a max level high jump. That's a bit problematic. No matter. Oh, look, it's Peter Pan's hideout. And he has a, a shop here. Mine shield. And an elixir. Can we buy anything here that we don't already have? The answer is no. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for nothing, Peter Pan. What? <laughs> it's not my fault you massively command grinded to get all these commands you're not supposed to have. Yeah, get out of here, monkey boy. Minnie's actually quite nice to have against the big boy gorilla monkeys. Off to Mermaid Lagoon! I can't believe I'm leading this dumb expedition. We'll see about that. We're on an expedition. Can't I show you up some other day? You show me up now! <laughs> Give back me treasure! Who's that? Ah, oh, that's just Captain Hook. He's a two bit pirate codfish. I'll cleave you into two bits, boy! It's me! Okay, Captain Hook, didn't Ventus kick your butt or something? Oh, 
That was the captain's signal. We don't talk about that. We're sitting ducks out here. Run. But there's treasure in Mermaid Lagoon. Oh good, we don't actually have to leave. Thank goodness we've got some method of horizontal movement. Air dodge. Excuse me, that's very rude. This isn't the way to the spot on the map, but I want to go over to the cove. Doggone it, Aqua. Alright, we'll swim to the secret cave. With a very special treasure chest here containing Firaga Burst. I've been waiting for this one. This is one of the hardest commands to meld in the game, so I'm so glad we don't have to meld it. Alright, uh, let's equip it right away. Firaga Burst is such a cool command. Oh, uh, where is it? Here it is. Conjure up a ball of flame overhead, then send fire flying in all directions at once. Ignites some foes, but uses two slots. Well, we have very few, uh... We have very few commands equipped now, because, like, half of them are two slot commands, but that's okay. And we get an elixir. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Hey! This... There we go, rainbow sticker. That's what I wanted. Aqua's a girl, that means she really likes sticker books. Then again, so did Terra and Ventus. So maybe they're just maybe sticker books are just universally appealing. Alright, Firaga Burst. <laughs> Such a cool looking command, but the only way to meld it is through a melding combination that only has like a 10% chance of creating Firaga Burst. So that's rough. Getting more than one of them is really difficult. Especially since you need Firaga Burst in order to meld another command. Maybe we can purchase it from the shop now. Probably not. Oh good, I'm glad to see Minnie and Aroga are leveling up. Yeah, take that. You're no match for Blade Charge. An Aether. Man, these treasure chests are lame, apart from Firaga Burst. And I guess Mind Shield is alright. Mind Shield is pretty decent, it just gets completely outclassed by Mind Square. What is it? The mark on the map points all the way up there. Ah, oh, relax. A little pixie dust and we'll be there in a jiffy. But we've never had to fly that high before. What if we fall? Hey, when did you two turn into cowards? Don't you think you're asking a bit much of them? This is between me and them, Aqua. Men, only the bravest of the brave can claim that treasure. Yeah, we know. Tink, if you would. It's interesting how Peter Pan calls his cronies men when the whole point of Neverland is that people don't want to grow up there. We haven't got all day. Sorry, Peter Pan. You can't be men if you don't grow up. Here we go! Can't have it both ways. You can't have the freedom of a child without the responsibilities of an adult. Wait, no, hang on, that's... Wait, that, no, that was backwards. You can't have the freedom and respect of being an adult without the responsibilities of being an adult. That's what I, that's what I was trying to say. Ooh, oh man, you'd really think that they would do a little bit better at uh, avoiding my Firaga Burst. It's like, excuse me, I, I'm capable of conjuring a massive fireball above my face. I don't think you really want to, uh, I don't think you want to take advantage of it. So here are these, like, little pouches of pixie dust. We can jump on them only in Aqua Story and bloom, look at this. Whee! Oh, this is fun. Look at how high up we can go. Ain't that just fancy. New room that we've never been to in Neverland before. This is exciting. Oh no, not a mandrake. Get out of here. So how close are we to getting our next finish command? 
Five seven eight free. Uh huh. Well, we'll keep going. It's not like we use our general finish commands all that much, anyways. It's kind of cool how, as Aqua, you get to go to places you never went to with Terra and Ventus. Not commonly. It still does happen. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> Oh, we can't air dodge out of the pixie dust pad. Oop. All right. Chaos crystal. Great. Man, Fyraga Burst recharges pretty quickly for a uh, two-slot uh, command. Most of those take a long time. Or maybe that's just Mega Flare. There's a bunch of chests on this screen, and I want to... Avoid missing them if at all possible. Oh, we can't even use Fyraga Burst in midair. It's kind of a shame. Whee! Also, why is Peter Pan not like, hey, you're not a kid, what are you doing in Neverland? It's just like, oh, hey, Aqua, yeah, cool, you can be the leader. We definitely have no objections with that. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That was a close one, Aqua. The screen is huge. There are so many platforms. Oh, look, Fyraga. Yeah, we need more of those. I actually won't complain. The more triple Fyragas we can get, the better. Triple Fire Ragas are pretty good all by themselves, but if you get a lot of them in your command deck, they become really broken. And wow, why did uh, we not hit the Pixie Dust pad? Guess we'll have to go back over here again. Alright, okay. I'm really, really sick of Aqua not jumping off a cliff when I tell her to as she's walking off the edge just keeps happening. There we go. It's better have something good in it. Time Splicer! We have three Time Splicers now. One more and we can literally just fill our deck with them. That is great. Doop 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 doop. Here we go. Another new screen. Take that. The Fire Raga Burst only just leveled up. Bit of a double-edged sword with Fire Raga Burst, because on the one hand, enemies can attack you and they won't interrupt it so you can keep, get the whole attack out, but on the other hand, that means that you can die while casting it, and Second Chance on Once More will not activate. Confusion Strike. Get out of here. And we go all the way back to the goalie. Yeah, so you know how I literally tried to go this way at the beginning. They're like, no, that's not where the treasure is. Like, that is literally where the treasure is. No, you gotta take them all the way around. Hey, aren't we back where we started? You mean we went all the way around Neverland for nothing? Well, you conquered all sorts of obstacles to get here. And to me... That's certainly not nothing. You know, I had you all wrong. You were just looking out for them back there. Being a good leader. Yeah, of course I was. I'm great! Great, Peter mm -hmm. Pan! I'll be taking what's mine now! How dare you, Hook? It's Hook! It's me. Secure me treasure. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah! What is it now? Captain, it's the treasure. It's been... been Spit it out, you idiot. <laughs> Hot fish. It's all junk. What do you mean, junk? Those are our treasures, Hook. 
But what did you do with my treasure? Oh, we lost that at all. <laughs> oh, Terra spilled it in the river. No! You what? You scurvy brats have crossed me for the last time. Hmm? Oh, thank that sound. What the heck is the crocodile doing in this Please, tiny stream? No, get away from me. Smee, do something. Smee. Wait, Captain. TikTok just wants a laugh. <laughs> they're they're not they literally just have their mouths so that was great animation there. There was literally zero frames of animation there. Good job, PSP graphics. Is this Oh, Ventus left that here. I guess it's a special keepsake or something. But don't worry about him. He said he would be alright without it. And then he promised to visit us again with even better treasures. <laughs> He's going out to get ice cream for everyone at Disney Town. And oh, Peter Pan looks kind of unintentionally creepy here. Maybe enough to fill a hundred treasure chests. Ugh. <laughs> that big smile with his bugged out eyes was creepy. He was here. <laughs> and someone else. What's the matter? It's nothing. Best that you stay here. And we obtained double flight at last. Double flight. Use double flight to jump twice for extra height. Press circle to jump and then press circle again. This is an aqua uh, specific action command. It's very similar to aerial dodge from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm waiting for this one. Double flight. There we go. Oh, and Minnie and Aroga are max level. That's wonderful. Because uh, for the boss fight, it might be a little bit tricky. So we're going to start leveling up a Kiraga. And what else do we want? Honestly, let's equip our Seeker Mine again. Or no, Mind Square. Let's start leveling up our Mind Square a bit. I think that would be nice. Oh, this also... We should also take a look at how many of the treasure chests we actually got, because I bet we missed one or two. Yeah, oh look, we did indeed miss one or two. One of them I think is back at Mermaid Lagoon. And of course we still need to grab the uh, sticker here, which we can do because we can double jump. So Aqua can jump really high now, but she still really struggles to get any kind of like, again, horizontal aerial momentum. Even with air dodge. I don't think we can get up on that platform at all. I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, so Aqua can't go down to the way of the cove. But the fact that she gets to explore a whole different part of Neverland is pretty cool. I like that. We're going to meld Air Slide and Blazaga together to get Ice Slide. Which I'll start leveling up later. Oh, well I'm real stupid. There's just a chest hanging out here that we failed to grab. The big chest is fake, but... Oh, and it was just a panacea. No worries. Alright. The other chest, I believe, will be on that last screen that we visited. Before winding back up in the gully again. So it's interesting. So, like, Ventus going to Neverland used Pixie Dust to learn to glide. Aqua used the Pixie Dust to learn to jump higher. And Terra... Well, Terra didn't really get to hang out with Peter Pan at all. But he still forged a D-Link because he beat him up. I'm trying to figure that out. So if we fall down from that screen, it, it winds us up back here. So we need to make sure we watch our step. Rainbow Falls, The Ascent. So we didn't search low down to the ground, so maybe the treasure chest is just down on the ground somewhere. Okay, we already grabbed these two chests. Maybe it's on the next screen. The Rainbow Falls Crest. Now that we have double... Oh my gosh, it was literally just right here. Well, the two chests that we missed were st stupid chests anyways. Oh, I did not want to go first-person mode. Especially since you can't even move in first-person mode. Alright, here we go. 
Back at the gully, and we are going to the Indian camp. This is where the boss fight is. So, have a good time hanging out with the kitties? There he is. Evil Sora! How'd you get that? I think that kid's outgrown such a childish toy. If you ask my opinion. Uh, How dare you? That was a childhood keepsake. Just like I've outgrown my need for you. You freak! Oh, you're going down, Vanitas. Defeat Vanitas. No Neverland boss fight. Nope. Just going straight to the story boss fight. Oh, yeah. Why I equipped a Kiraga. Get out of here. So Vanita still is, a, is susceptible to some status effects, but not a lot of them. Like, we can't just magnet spam him like we did the first time we fought him. We got blade charge now. You're in. You're done, Vanitas. Uh oh. All right. Prism rain. You're dead. <laughs> Max HP increase, and we learn the Ghost Drive command style. That's an Aqua exclusive command style, which is pretty fun to use. Except he's not. <sighs> Aqua, the fight wasn't that terrible. Ben. Tara. Can rest easy. Peter Pan is just dawdling, doing nothing to help. I think Vanitas and Peter Pan could have gotten along. They're both bratty kids. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we laughed at a dumb joke? I remember that. That was proof we were great friends. Oh, hey, hey, Peter Pan. All right? What happened? I'm fine. Oh no! Look at Ben's treasure. It's okay, Peter. Whatever it is that binds us together. Isn't gonna break so easily. It's okay, Peter. That was a childhood toy, and Ven's grown up now. He doesn't need it anymore. And Peter Pan's just like wounded at the deepest level. <gasps> what do you mean he's grown up? And that's our real treasure. I think Ventus knew that. That's why he left this behind. You must really be close. And that's something pretty special. You and Ventus and Tara, was it? 
One day, you should all come back. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tara should beat Peter Pan up again. That was a fun fight. And we forged a deal link with Peter Pan, because of course we did. And we get the Pixie Petal Keyblade, which is going to be really kick butt for Aqua. <laughs> Unfortunately, he still has short reach, though. <laughs> Aqua decides to fly into the light that just appears in front of her. Oh, look, we're back to Destiny Islands again. Everybody gets to go here at one point or another. <laughs> Except Roxas. <laughs> it's the Paupu Fruit. I heard about that. <clears throat> I'm going to eat one all on my own. Tara. Ben. I hope we're ready for the storm that's coming. Hey, wait up! Too slow, Sora. See you at the finish line. No fair, Riku, you cheated. The zip line didn't work for me. Hey kids, <laughs> you want to be clowns? <laughs> oh. Don't jump on them, Aqua. That would be bad. <laughs> this boy looks so sincere, just like Tara. And this one, he's a spitting image of Ben. Who is this lady laughing at us? One of you might be special enough. Hey, you two mind telling me your names? Ah, well, you gotta tell them your name I'm first. Sora. And you? Riku. Someone has already passed this boy the power. Was it Tara? How do you know that just by looking at him? Best friend. No, I hate him. He always cheats at the race. <laughs> so then, if something happens and Riku is about to get lost, or say he starts wandering down a dark path alone, you make sure to stay with him and keep him safe. That's your job, Sora, and I'm counting on you to do it, okay? By the way, who are you and why should we be listening to you? <laughs> it's okay, you can trust me. I'm a girl. Oh yeah, of course. Now go row in that boat by yourselves alone back to the, to the main island. Our dad's here, but he's just invisible. One keyblade is enough for any friendship. I learned it the hard way. I wouldn't wish our lives on those children. Funny you should say that, Aqua. Tara, please tell me. What's to become of us? And we get the Stormfall Keyblade, a well-balanced keyblade that provides an extra boost to all your stats. That's also a fun Keyblade. It's like an upgraded version of her default. Just like Terra and Ven got an upgraded version of their default Keyblade at Destiny Islands. What the... Is that Mickey? Mickey, what are you doing flying in space unconscious? Oh, oh well, I, uh, I kind of forgot my spaceship at home. <laughs> it was in my other pants. Don't worry. I'll take you back to him. That's nice, Aqua. You did your good deed for the day! <laughs> and we finally beat Neverland. 
Kingdom Hearts sometimes goes a little heavy in the cutscenes. Oh boy, we can play the command board for Neverland, even though we already could. And we unlock the mysterious tower. We finally get to go there. But first, before we forget, new Keyblades. So, Pixie Petal has free strength and six magic, which is pretty awesome. And then we've got Stormfall, which has five strength and only four magic. I don't know about you, but Pixie Petal sounds a lot better for Aqua. Aqua's all about that magic. Look, look at that. 20 free strength, 27 magic. That, that's pretty great. Oh, man, we didn't check out that we had the new Disney Town Pass from several worlds ago. This is the best day ever. Yeah, so Terra kind of passed on the ability to use the Keyblade to Riku. I kind of glossed over that when we did Terra's story. And so that's why Riku can use a Keyblade in Kingdom Hearts 2, and why he was able to take Sora's Keyblade in Kingdom Hearts 1. Aqua did not pass on the power to use the Keyblade to Sora, so that's kind of interesting. How is Sora able to use the Keyblade without someone passing that knowledge on to him? I don't know. Actually, I do know. You don't know, though. Let's, uh, let's, let's go take a visit to the Mysterious Tower. More treasures to be found. Welcome to the Fantasia Tower. The Mysterious Tower. It keeps moving around. That's why sometimes it's a part of Twilight Town and sometimes it's its own thing. Alright, well, here we are. But, I mean, before we go forwards... Wow, these guys are weak sauce. These guys are weak sauce. The Shimmering Crystal. Uh, are these chests seem, uh... Oh, never mind. I was supposed to be... These chests seem kind of bad for late like, endgame. Nope, Magnaga is pretty doggone good. I love Fire Wheel. So good. Megalixir. There we go. The donut sticker! Oh boy! You want donut on your sticker, but Mega Magic Recipe. Ain't that fan fantastic? Oh, uh, where was I gonna go? Oh, we got the Peter Pan dealing, but we already know about that. Oh, uh, boop, doop, doop, boop. We got all the treasures here. Yes, we did. How about the sticker album? Donald's like, make sure you put me down. Not there. You have to put me down in a very specific place. Stop barrier. We've been waiting for that one. That's a little weird. Why does Donald have to be in front of everything like that? That's a little strange. Must admit. Oh boy. We are missing one in Dwarf Woodlands, one in Enchanted Dominion, one in Radiant Garden, both in Disney Town. Okay, we can, we can stop by there after this. Seems like a good idea. Do, 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 do. King Mickey! King Mickey! Aqua, the stars bring me grave news. Master Ericus's star has blinked out. I am afraid that means he has been struck down. No, it just means that the star he bought online just fizzled out. Oh no, now he's out 50 cents. Uh, the master? But who is responsible? Hmm. Master Xehanort and Terra. That's absurd! Terra would never! I hope with all my heart that you are right about your friend. There are some things even the stars cannot tell me. Where is he? Where can I find Terra? Terra's heart is leading him to the ancient Keyblade Graveyard, where wielders of those weapons once waged war. Alright. I have to go after him. And see if it's true. 
be on your guard. I mean, to be fair, Terra just kind of beat him up and Xehanort was the one who killed him. They didn't, like, kill him together. Terra, Ben, please just be safe. I'll find a way to get you out of this. We forced a D-Link with Donald and Goofy even though we didn't even talk to them. Like, if, if Aqua can forge a D-Link with Donald and Goofy because of that, then Terra should have gotten a D-Link with Mickey. Because he watched him ride off. That seems a bit absurd. And we get J.R. North report number four. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite one. <laughs> it's where I talk about my favorite television programs. <laughs> I miss the days when Looney Tunes was on TV. Back then you could have cartoon characters shoot each other with shotguns and on screen and nobody cared about it. Now if you so much as punch another person, it becomes PG-13. This is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually with you on that one, Xehanort. All right, Xehanort's report number four. And when Kingdom Hearts is complete, it is said that the one who opens its door will bring about the creation of the next world. Such a feat is above any human. Or, to put it a different way, whoever opens that door will be reborn as something far greater than human. Light and darkness are two sides of the same coin. Without darkness, there is no light. The Keyblade Wielder's great war over Kingdom Hearts was fought by defenders of the light, servants of the darkness, those who sought to reconcile the two, and those motivated by nothing more than lust for power. A whole spectrum of thought was swept into the conflict, and the worlds that did not go to war found the war was brought to them. In the end, the whole world was cast into darkness. That was how the ancient Keyblade War drew to a close. To this day, no one has ever managed to open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Sometime later, the little light that remained in the hearts of the few gave rise to the world we know today. One made of many worlds behind just as many walls, so that the Keyblade War would not be repeated. Well, Xehanort is constantly complaining, like, Ah, people are using darkness too much. It's like, bruh, you are... <laughs> That's you! <laughs> That's literally you! <laughs> it's like, man, this world is filled with people who just do nothing but consume it with darkness. Like, you? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm a different case. Perfectly okay for me to do this, just not okay for other people to do this. You, you surely must understand. No, I really don't, Xenonort. Duck on it. Alright, where's that puzzle piece? Where's the Millennium Puzzle Piece? How do we find it? Aqua doesn't need to open no stinking doors. It might just head up- wait, the, the sticker might be in like the lamp- or the, the lamp chamber, the mirror chamber. I technically never got to explore the mirror chamber. It's just like, you fought the boss, and there you go. Oh, nope, there it is. Oh boy, we finally unlocked Twisted Hours. Took us long enough. Twisted Hours. Press X at the right time to throw the Keyblade at the enemy repeatedly. Inflict stop and slow on some enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's, it's stop rate, effectively. We gotta get back in time. <laughs> gotta get back in time. Do we seriously only have two finish commands left to get? Maybe... <laughs> Maybe got to have money leads to something a bit more than that. I don't know, though. Could go either way. We'll keep trying, though. One day we'll get it. Alright, as for this sticker, we just gotta go up here. And we got a double flight. The bubble sticker! Oh, how grand. Well, at least we get a new save point over in the Magic Mirror Chamber. We didn't have that before. Now for the Enchanted Dominion. We never actually went to the bridge before. I'm pretty sure we don't get to go into the castle. Otherwise, I would fully expect there to be some, uh, treasure chests here. Yep, nothing- there's nothing down this way! Aqua, there's a giant freaking castle in front of you. Nope, I, that's nothing. You call that a castle? Compared to the Land of Departures castle, that's so small. It's nothing. Not even worth getting upset about. Sure, Aqua. Sure. Here's the sticker. The Horus sticker. Oh boy. We definitely needed that. 
You can't have a sticker book without fruit ball! Yes, we can, Horace. <laughs> we really can. Also, can we buy Fyraga Burst from the shop? I would really like it if we could. We can! Oh, thank goodness. That's basically the only way we're going to get Fyraga Burst from this point forward. All right. There are two stickers here in Radiant Garden for us to find. One of them is probably in the Fountain Court. How did I miss that one? That's literally just lying out. Oh, okay. No, actually, you do need the uh, double play for that. The donut sticker. I love that sticker. Aqua's one character that can actually take the shortcut through the reactor because of her double flight ability. Surprise, we're actually heading to Neverland next because we gotta get the ice cream ingredients from Neverland. And I believe for Aqua, the ice cream ingredients are in the Rainbow Crest area. Thunder. Only one way to find out. And here we go, here's the Ghost Drive command style. It's kind of crazy, you can do a bunch of teleport dashes. It's like a constant series of warp attacks, which is interesting. And then the finisher is also pretty cool. Quite fun. And as you can see right now, if we're just using lightning and magnet based attacks, we're entering Ghost Drive command style pretty easily. Oh, weird. I can't double flight while I'm in this command style. That's weird. Ghost Drive. Activates when you are already using a command style and you follow with magnet-related commands, thunder-related commands, or reprisals. This is... okay, I guess... I guess Magic Hour must be a zero-gravity-related command, otherwise we would not be entering the Sky Climber command style in deep space because of that. My bad. The Ice Cream guys appear actually at the Indian camp, which is really convenient because it's right next to the save point. Here we are. There we go, we got a bunch of ice cream ingredients. All right, here we go, we got more ice cream ingredients. Thanks for the ingredients! Look, we made some more ice cream! We get 12 sugary skies and six Donald fizzes. What the heck are those? Well, first off, we're going back to our main deck. But if we were to, okay. Donald fizz can be eaten once to activate the ghost drive command style. Okay, sugary skies for sky climber, fabricadabra for spell weaver. Out of all the ice cream names, I think Fabra Cadabra is the best name. I think with Double Flight and Air Dodge, yeah, we don't even need to power up the room. Which is really cool. What the heck, Aqua? There was solid ground over there and you're just like, nope, peace out. Um, really Aqua? Are you for real? Man, I love Kingdom Hearts, but doggone it, the platforming is consistently awful in these games. I'm glad they kind of ditched the platforming aspect of it, for the most part, after Kingdom Hearts 1. But dear lord, like, the physics in this game are not on point. <laughs> well, there's one of the stickers over here. The Daisy sticker. Probably could have grabbed that earlier if we'd used Sliding Dash, but... Ah well. Is the other one in the freaking fruit ball court? Nope, it's over here. The mini sticker. Well, we got some D-Links to level up, starting with Peter Pan. Alright. Let's get that second Peter Pan level up. Okay, there it is. Well, that was easy. Do a barrel roll. Alright, it's time for Goofy. <laughs> Yuck. Wow, our first D-Link flower already. Oh, look, wow. Second flower already. All right, Donald, let's see if we can grab your special as well. Oh, look, first level up flower for Donald. Thanks for the magic boost. Oh, wow, second level up flower for Donald. <laughs> that was really fast. Let's head to the Mirage Arena for a fun time. Let's equip our ice cream deck. And just do risky riches a whole bunch. 
This will also let us get the uh, next finisher in the chain. <laughs> because I, uh, I kind of want to get that next uh, gold money, cash money chain. That, that didn't make sense. I want to get the next gold rush related finish command. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. We're going to make a crawling fire with HP boost. Wizard Bazara, Soothing Crystal, Blazago with item boost. We're going to meld our uh, two cures together with a Hungry Crystal to get Cura with Treasure Magnet. And then we're going to do the same thing again to get our last two Treasure Magnets before we start uh, doing the Risky Riches grinding. All right, melding time. So... <laughs> We're gonna meld our another two cures together with a Hungry Crystal to get our last Treasure Magnet. Next, we are going to meld a Blazaga with Deep Freeze, which will give us Glacier, which is an Aqua exclusive command. You can also use Triple Blazaga, but I wanted to keep my Triple Blazaga around. Next, we are going to meld uh, two Fission Fire Agas with two Crawling Fire, or actually three Fission Fire Agas with three Crawling Fires to get three more Mega Flares. <laughs> Because I might be wanting that in the arena later. <laughs> Mega Flare, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is beautiful. Mega Flare with Reload Boost. Well, I don't need that, but it's nice to have anyways. Next, we're going to meld Fission Fyraga with Fyraga Burst, which will give us another Aqua exclusive move, Raging Storm, which is a slate that is actually possible to use in re Chain of Memories, not in regular Chain of Memories, though. It's a pretty cool looking command, and boy howdy, we got a lot of stuff to equip now. So, here we go. Just to start, let's see. Let's get the two Kuras with the treasure magnets. I think that's nice. Uh, I definitely want to equip the, uh, what, what do you call it? Oh, Glacier. Raging Storm. Cloak yourself in a whirlwind of fire and fly around at will, dealing damage to enemies on contact. Uses two slots. Freeze enemies before sending them flying. That's Glacier. I guess for now we'll just level up some more Fyragas to get more triple Fyragas. But now that we're looking at this, I'm actually curious. If we go to our command collection, we have all the attack commands. How many magic commands do we have? We have all the magic commands as well. Sweet. Those are the last ones. We have one flavor of ice cream left. We have two shot locks. One is the ultimate shot lock and one is bio barrage. Both we'll need to get from the uh, Mirage Arena. We technically can meld bio barrage. As Ventus and Terra, there's a way of, uh, there's a combination you can make, which is po the Poison Block, where there's, I think, actually, I can check that right now. Yeah, so Terra and Ventus have a 20% chance of making Bio Barrage by melding either Poison or Poison Edge with Block. Because Aqua doesn't have Block, she doesn't have access to that, so she's going to have to meld Poison with either Quick Blitz, Sliding Dash, or Strike Raid, and that only has a 5% chance of turning into Bio Barrage, so I'm probably just getting that from the Mirage Arena. We've gotten all of the different D-Link finishers. We are still missing two of the command style finishers. Or, I'm sorry, two of the finish commands. One of the command style finishers, and that being Riva Mixer. We still don't have every single ability in the game. That's interesting. We're missing two abilities. Oh, I think, I think one of them is item boost, but we should have that by now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have item boost. Oh no, we're missing fire screen and blizzard screen. Never mind. Those aren't that great. We're also missing... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, well let's charge these up and show them off. Because they are pretty fun to use. Especially Raging Storm. Okay. First Glacier. That's fun. Right. This is Raging Storm. We surround ourselves with a bunch of fire pillars and we can move around and, uh, yeah. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I guess a diamond does. Excuse me, I just, I just moved around with fire pillars. Enough. It's even better if you tap the stick. If you tap the stick, you do way more damage for some reason, as opposed to just using the stick normally. Anyways, let's just go back to Experiment 626 to keep massively uh, command grinding. Alright folks, are you guys ready for the big meld? <laughs> I know I am. We got a, little, a bunch of stuff together. Alright, first up, two fire dashes plus fire with shimmering crystals will give us two of our fire screens. Next up, two strike raids plus blizzards plus shimmering crystals will give us blizzara with the blizzard screens that we need. Next up, stun edge 
plus thunder plus shimmering crystal will give us the final thunder screen that we need. Next, we meld cure with arrow with a shimmering crystal to get the final dark screen that we need. Next, we meld two fires together with a wellspring crystal to get the last air combo plus we need. Then we meld two fires together plus a soothing crystal to get the last HP boost that we need. Next, we're going to meld a whole mess of blizzards together. We're gonna to do two blizzards plus a wellspring crystal to get the last combo plus we need. Next, we meld two blizzards together with an abounding crystal to get the last lucky strike that we need. Now we're going to meld blizzards together with soothing crystals to get the last two item boosts that we need. Finally, two blizzards plus a hungry crystal to get the final HP prize plus that we need. Now we just gotta level all of these commands up. Thankfully, we've got Neverland to help us level these up. And looky there. Oh yeah, all the abilities. And we've got a fur deck now just filled with Mega Flares, and I think that's exactly what we will be taking to Mirage Arena to grind up on money to get the next finish command. And as an extra plus, we'll get some medals along the way, which will be very nice for getting Bio Barrage. Actually, can we afford Bio Barrage now? Not even close, we need 2,500. All right, well that's probably not gonna happen for a while. Oh wow, that only took one try. We got Surprise 2. <laughs> nice. Sure enough, Surprise 2 is where it ends for Aqua. So, our final money-related finish command. We better make it a good one. Extreme couponing. That's our new finish command. All right, let's go back to Avada Kedavra and prepare for the final finish command. <laughs> so here's my deck going into the Mirage Arena stuff. We've gone back to the Photon Charge, uh, Shotlock. We've got those battle commands. I've also removed both Homing Slide and Fire Wheel from my action commands, and I've gone back to regular old cartwheel. You might be wondering why, and the simple reason is regular cartwheel gives maximum invulnerability frames, and if we're going up against things like Iron and Prisoner, we're really going to want those invulnerability frames. So, let's see what new arena challenges we can do. Treasure Tussle! Oh, is that the only one? No, we can go to Harsh Punishment. Cool. All right, here we go. We'll fight Iron and Prisoner free. And then I think we'll call it for this video. All right, this is where we hope our shot lock is good. Gone it, he always does that. That's also why I got rid of Fire Wheel. Fire Wheel would not allow us to escape his attack there without taking damage. Whoops. Look at how much damage he took from the mind squares there. Shit, we're kind of kicking his butt right now. Okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, this is another reason that Ghost Drive is not great. It actually makes your cartwheel worse in terms of invincibility frames. Oh, I do believe this is your end. Goodbye. Wow, Iron and Prisoner free? Pretty easy. We're also massively overleveled for this. But there we go. Aqua just has an easier time in the arena compared to the other two.
Oh hey, we only healed twice, so we still get that bonus 50% extra medals. Well, how nice. I wish you could sell stuff to get medals, but no, you just gotta earn your way up. Great. We're arena level 20, though. I think you can get to a maximum of arena level 30. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. It's gonna be the final episode of Aqua's Story. We are going to the Keyblade Graveyard. We will get the Rhythm Mixer Command Style. Do a bunch of stuff in the arena. Get hopefully the last two shot locks we need. We can level those up. And then we are ready to take on the final boss. Who will probably be a joke considering how much of a high level we are. And remember, there's still a bunch of post-game stuff too. So this Let's Play is still not over yet. <laughs> there's still going to be a couple of episodes afterwards. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.